civil servants at the MOD of alleged sexual assault by three male colleagues. We're going to read into this from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that civil servant at the MOD alleges sexual assault by three male colleagues. The woman come forward to Prospect Trade Union after feeling allegations were not significantly dealt with. So obviously, first and foremost, let's stress that these are allegations. We have to stress that word. Um, so that that just put that caveat in there that everything that they said obviously is, is allegations and and we can only go from that innocent until proven guilty of course guys um now civil servants have been through a rough time as it is with some of the treatment that they've been had at the hands of certain conservative ministers we know there have been cases with um with dominic raab for example um and some of the allegations of bullying that we've had with him um, we've also had um, with Pretty Patel. Um, I don't know if they were. Uh, they're both. Uh, I don't know if they were actually convicted or allegations still. Um, we also know that Matt Hancock wasn't also the most comfortable to work with. I've been told as well, um, uh, allegedly as well. There's quite a few ministers that were not uh, not very well worked with, uh, according to civil servants out there. Um, and uh, when you, you have a toxic envir environment that's been created, especially when you have uh, abuse and potential uh, some abuse of power as well, um, unfortunately, there there comes the obviously the sadly and disgustingly sexual uh, allegations can start coming to light. And what we have here is a case of sexual assault here. Um, which is absolutely deeply concerning in any way, shape or form, whether they're civil servants or not. Um, I think it's a, a horrible situation. And um, and the fact that uh, the headline says here that, you know, they, they had to go to a union because this has not been dealt with. Um, it's incredibly brave to do so because uh, even there are, because there are many cases where women have been sexually assaulted, gone to police or, or whatever, um, gone to whatever confidential lines or whatever and there's not really enough done or there's not a follow-up and or some have just felt that there there's no point because they feel help absolutely helpless and no one wants to help them and it's a really sad state of affairs and um the fact that it even happens at the top at the top level at the civil servants civil service um is pretty damning to say the least guys so a Ministry of Defence civil servant has to, has told of being subject to, to three separate incidences of sexual assault by male colleagues after allegations emerged of a hostile and toxic culture at the department. The woman came forward to prospect the trade union after feeling that her allegations were not significantly investigated and dealt with by the Ministry of Defence. About 60 senior women at the Ministry of Defence wrote to the Permanent Secretary David Williams in October with a joint letter that alleged sexual assault, harassment and abuse by male colleagues. 60 women, okay, 60 women there are, are, are wrote about this alleged sexual assault. 60 women, guys. Now, we were talking there right at the start about one woman. We're talking about potentially 60 women here. Now, whether, they, now, whether they, all these cases are true or not, again, allegations, but still, that's a lot of women uh, have wrote to the Permanent Secretary about this. That's very concerning, to say the least. The letter first reported by The Guardian includes claims that women had been pro, uh, propositioned, groped and touched repeatedly by male colleagues at the MOD in a workplace culture that the civil servants said was hostile to women as equal, as, as equal and respected partners. The female civil servant came forward with her account after the letter in the hope that the making of the details of experienced public will help stop anything similar happening to someone else. In a testimony to Prospect, a woman, the woman said she experienced the first sexual assault several years ago when a male colleague grabbed her breasts and squeezed them in front of others during a work social event. She said this was shocked. She was shocked and embarrassed and asked him not to, not to do it, but about a minute later he repeated the action. Like, what? What? what, what, what it's, it's 
there is no justification for doing that. Okay? Like, if that's your wife and your girlfriend, might be a different story. But we're talking about a work colleague here. That you can just assume that you can just do that? No. Hello? It's 2023. We don't do those kind of things now. Women have more rights now. Hello? Am I the only one here that doesn't see this? Like, what the F is wrong with these people? This is a civil... This is civil, This is the Ministry of Defence. Not an office, just a, a normal workplace. This is civil service, allegedly, This, this is, these allegations. In the second incident, during an overseas-based role, the civil servant was at the married quarters of an MOD couple after visiting the officer's mess. When she felt her male colleague's hand running up and down her thigh while his wife was sitting opposite the table. She reported the second incident and asked that she did not contact her or come near her. But afterwards, he stood up, stood in her office door in an intimidating manner and told her that nothing had happened. In the third incident, the female civil servant, civil servant was at a conference when she, when a male colleague became flirt, flirtatious and offered to escort her to her hotel. She declined, but he followed her anyway and then asked to come into her room. She said that he could not, but he did so anyway and then tried to kiss her. Dude, when you've been told no, you will, you will, you stay away. You don't continue to follow. Freak. Subsequently, the woman was allowed to limit her interactions with the man to online meetings, but she continued to feel intimidated by him. She made a formal complaint to the MOD, and the man was not suspended during the investigation, despite her countersigning officer. Sue Fain's the senior deputy. Uh, General Secretary of Prospects said the assaults were in themselves shocking, but for the MOD to so comprehensively fail to deal with the culprits or take adequate measures to stop it happening again is completely unacceptable. Abusive behaviour thrives in an atmosphere of permissives to cover up, she said. It takes huge coverage for women to come forward when these behaviours happen in a work-related setting. So when they when they do it, it is a critical it's critical that the employer acts. The MOD needs to stop being a part of the problem and start taking allegations of this nature seriously and introduce a proper system to deal with bullying and sexual harassment. Prospect uh, also said it has written to the MOD on behalf of the joint trade unions well over a year ago to call for a review into bullying, harassment, discrimination and victimisation policies. It said there has been no meaningful engagement on these policies and it found that the HR forum has yet to acknowledge the trade union's request. The trade union is one of several that attended a meeting in the early December at the MOD in which bullying and harassment of women working in defence was raised. A Ministry of Defence spokesperson has said, No women should be made to feel unsafe in the Ministry of Defence and this behaviour is not tolerated. We are committed to stumping this out and we will continue to encourage anyone who has experienced or witnessed this kind of inexcusable behaviour to report it immediately. Okay, that's all well and good saying that, but obviously these are allegations, are allegations of course. But it doesn't change the fact that the unions there have had up to uh, up to 60 senior women uh, making these um, in what is it? Is this in one? Yeah, 60 women in them at the Ministry of Defence. 60 is an ins incredibly insane number. Um, I don't care what what the excuses are. If if these allegations are true, this is absolutely shameful by the Ministry of Defence. Um, not protecting women in the civil service. It's just unacceptable in every every level. Um, and again, like, where is the support? Where is the help for them? Um, good. F I thank God that, that there's a trade union there to try and help. Thank God, because for some for some women they don't have that. Um, and um, we have to obviously. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm going to assume that an investi investigation is going to be carried out of some of some sort. There needs to be, because this is this is serious. This is really, really damning for the Ministry of Defence, and more importantly, for all the alleged victims here, who simply are, are there to do a job. They're here to do a job, and this is, and they they should be able to feel safe, uh, safe to be able to be safe to be able to do their jobs. And not be treated uh, indecent in any way, shape, or form. So, what do you guys think? 
What do you guys think of the Ministry of Defence? Are they doing enough? Should they be doing more? We have to stress these are allegations, so let's be, let's be, let's make that very point uh, that it is any allegations. Um, it says here up to sixty women as well. Do you believe that it'd be up to sixty women? Is this in ch in tune? Do you think yeah, because of the Conservative Party and the thirteen years of rule as well? Do you think that's played a rare factor into it too, or is it because? other factors let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hit the like button be greatly appreciated share this across social media and hit that bell notification icon so be notified when i upload another video and if you want to financially support me you can do so by becoming a member on youtube for just 99p or joining me on patreon for exclusive content thanks so much for watching and i hope to catch you all very very soon